Well, this is my first attempt at trying to do a video. It's still a little awkward, even with the tripod, but here goes. So if I were going to put a row of beads in here, usually I start off with a smaller bead first. So as you can see, here's my first bead. The next bead is going to be um, a larger bead. Okay. So what I would do is I would go ahead and thread my bead on the needle as though I were going to take the next stitch. And I would come around and put my stitch underneath the thread rather than through the coil. And that's so that the thread rather than the coil takes the stress. And I'm going to pull the bead, pull it down fairly tight. so that it's in the right position. And then I'm simply going to come back up through the bead and then pull it very tight. And then I'm ready to take the next stitch. Now, typically what I will do at this point, just because of spacing, is to come around and simply take one wrap before I get to my next stitch. Depends on the size of the beads you're using. My bead is rolling. Then I would thread the next bead. Bring it around to the back take my next stitch underneath the threads. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. Tighten it up. Well, I'm coming undone. I don't have enough thread. I should have started a new piece, but this is just my work piece when I'm demonstrating things. Okay. Come back up through the th through the bead. And then again, take one wrap and continue on with my next bead. So, as you can see, when it's all done, the threads have disappeared right into the work. Okay, that's how I do it. Bye.